And welcome to the program Agriculture on the Move. My name is Philip Sidney, your host. Today we are talking farmers' cooperatives. And with me is Mr. Delvin Morris, who is from T. Roche Castries, and of course his farm is in Region 8, which is in the Bexar of Mac area. Welcome to the program, sir. Hi. Good. Okay, so you're feeling good? Are you a young man? And how, 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 how what, what? you know, drove you into agri agriculture, into farming, in fact? Well, before I got into farming, I did a program, a certification program at the Region 8 office to get my farmer's ID. Mm -hmm. My brother, well, this was my brother and a cousin of mine, I was running into farming. And I got to like it and I entered it together with them. Okay. So I became, became a partner with them. All right. So, so they, they were involved bef long before you? Yeah, they were long before me. Oh. Under the YAP program. Oh, under the YAP. Ah, so they were uh, uh, one of the farmers under that program. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, how, how, many, how, so how many brothers are involved in that? Well, there are two brothers. Two? Myself mm -hmm. and my brother. We actually have four of us. Four of you. Myself, my brother, and two of my cousins. We have five. Three of my cousins. Oh, okay. I forgot one. All right. So how long do they have been involved in farming, and what, what do they farm? Well, presently we are farming some sweet potatoes for some research mm -hmm. for the government mm -hmm. on the weevil that affect the potato. Right. That's what we're presently um, planting for them. So, so there's, there's a research plot? Yeah, there's a demo plot. A demo plot. Mm -hmm. And on our own, we are, right now we are establishing, trying to establish some hot peppers. OK. A couple acres of hot peppers. How many acres? More or less like six acres six of acres. hot peppers. Right. So what, what got you into growing hot peppers? What, is there a market for hot peppers for you? Well, there is a market for hot peppers. They have Viking, they have Baron, <coughs> but we're more targeting Baron. Baron. We are so have you spoken, you have spoken to Baron? Yeah, we have spoken, yes, we have spoken to Baron. Okay, so you have a guaranteed market. It's a guaranteed market. Okay. And it's, well, it's an open market. This is not for me. All right. It's you go and speak to the people. Yes, yes, yes. Too, yes. too, many, too many times, like we farmers just want to just sit down and let markets come to us. It doesn't right. require it anymore. It's we have to go to the markets now. Right. Got so we want our yes, we want our product to sell. That's right. So we produce our product, we need the market. That's right. So we go to the market. That's right. And so um, so the your your plots have been established, your your paper plots? No, right now we're in the phase of clearing the land. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna do it by phases. All right. We're gonna do establish our acre first. Mm -hmm. And after we finish the established acre, maybe a month after. Establish uh, the yeah, next acre. So you must have your continuous, continuous uh, yes, flow production. of papers, yeah. Oh, very, very, very good. Um, now I heard that you and uh, other farmers in the region have decided to form a cooperative. How did that idea come about? That idea came about at that same certification program. Mm -hmm. After we, we went after the six weeks of the program, we were kind of looking like, hey, but if you go to the market by yourself, you don't have enough power to tell people that you want that for your, for your, for your crop or your produce. Mm -hmm. But if you, as a group, go, you form a group and you go and you ask someone speaking on your behalf, they will say, okay, well, then people are serious and we can negoti negotiate on behalf of the farmers. Mm -hmm. But you by yourself cannot do that. You need to have unity and you need to have numbers behind you so you can able go to say, hey, let's negotiate the price for, let's say, potato. He put it to if and then the regular man getting potato for let's say like one fifty a dollar. If you as a group are a cop and we go negotiate on your behalf, our price will be better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Cause you'll have mm -hmm. numbers behind you. That's right. That's right. So so the so how long ago that idea was you know uh, originated and how many of how many farmers are uh, have come together to form that cooperative? That idea have been we, that idea came up like about four to five years ago, after the, um, the program. The certification program. Yeah, it came up four to five years ago, and after the, we kind of lapsed, well, not actually we 
some people kind of, um, kind of lapse. But Mr. Victor and myself and some of the people, we have been working behind the scenes, trying to get that thing going. Okay. Right now, we are at a stage where we have 30, we have 30 registered members right now. Okay. So you're saying that it's, it's growing and that we would like it to continue to grow. Okay. Um, be, before you all got into this, I'm sure you all were able to find out exactly how a cooperative is organized. Did you all get the Department of Cooperatives involved? Yeah, we, we're working very closely with Mijia Siza. Mm -hmm. She's working very, very, very closely with us. So she's I guiding must, the Yeah, process. she's guiding us on, as to what we must do and what steps we must take. And, and this, so, so where, where are you all now with all the steps that she has guided you all into? Well, we, we're almost registered. I can say we're almost registered. We're not fully, but we're almost registered. Mm. She, she had, we had a public meeting, our first public meeting. It was two months back. Mm. She attended the meeting. She spoke to the, the members that we have. She spoke to the, well, we have more members because there are like around 50, 70 people at the meeting or more. Okay. And she spoke to them and tell them what's the benefits of a cooperative. She guided them as to what it takes to form a, co a cooperative. So I guess she's, she's giving us an behind the scenes help too. Mm -hmm. It's not just, but she's helping us to push forward with that. How are the farmers taking it? Because it's a, and I know it's difficult when you're dealing <laughs> with um, different um, people with different ideas. Uh, but how, how is it? Is it uh, uh, been very easy to get farmers to understand what they're going into? How difficult or how, 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 how easy has it been? To be honest, it hasn't been difficult, you know. <laughs> a lot of farmers want it. Mm. Because they only know that if they're in a cooperative, they, they have a lot of power. They mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. That's not made for when people want to sell the things by themselves. Mm -hmm. They're moving from that age to a better age. Mm -hmm. Now, will they see that opportunity coming with the cooperative? Okay. They, they're seeing it. So they're responding, and they're responding very good to the cooperative, I must say. So in the farmers that, that, that have come on board, um, how, how spread are they? I mean, throughout where? From the back? So how, how far? Give, give me an idea of the demographics. Well, from. The Badlin, mm -hmm. Otsa, um, Monido, well, the Mark area, Mark area uh -huh. um, and Abdamon. Okay. That's the region 8. But the cooperative is not limited to just region 8. Okay. Whatever region that you're farming in and you want to join the cooperative, you are free to join. So region, we know, we're not region, limiting region nobody. 7, region 3 can also. It doesn't matter what region you're from. Okay. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So long as you want to join the cooperative, the doors are open for you. We're welcoming all members. Okay. So uh, in terms of, of crops, it doesn't matter what you are growing, that you can be a, you can be a member. It doesn't matter. Mm. It doesn't matter. So, so, long, so long as you're growing crops, we're there for you. Okay. So, so you said you're just about getting yourselves uh, registered. Yes. All right. Um, so what is happening now? So you all have not, you, apart from getting yourself registered, you all have not been doing anything in terms of marketing together or anything like this. So you all still, you know, in the nurturing well, well, stage. Right now, that we have we formed a business plan where we want to do a juicing factory, on co um, composting um, um, soil for to so we can give the farmers that they can put the, um, germinate the seeds. So we, we, we have all that going on um, behind the scenes. Okay. In terms of marketing, our president, Mr. Victor, mm -hmm. he's, been, he's been contacting hotels, um, massive, store, um, massive stores. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing some work behind the scenes okay. before. We're, go we're going to have a meeting, a general meeting, on the 30, 31st of mm -hmm. this month, which mm -hmm. is next two weeks, Wednesday. Okay. We're going to have a general meeting. And all that will be... We will be discussed at the meeting because right now we are we're doing some marketing and we don't want to just go to the farmers, the registered farmers, and tell them, well, hey, we have nothing okay. for them yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So some marketing has been yes, it's been done. Okay, all right, we're going to our first break. When you come back, I want to also talk a little more about the juicing factory you're talking about. Okay, you're watching Agriculture in the Move. We're due for our first break. Stay tuned. Is your land just been idle, and you want to put it into productive use? Well, here is how. Go the aquaculture way by producing fish and shrimps. It's very rewarding. Contact the aquaculture unit in the Department of Fisheries at 468-4135 for more information. Welcome back to the program, Agriculture on the Move. Today with me is uh, Mr. Maurice, who is a member 
of the Region 8 Farmers Cooperatives, which is in the Bexom Mark uh, area. Uh, you spoke about some uh, projects that you all would like to get into. Uh, one of them is lo you're looking at you're looking at a juice a juice factory. The juice factory. Give, give 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 us an idea of w w why that idea came up, and what uh, what what's behind it, and where would you all want to establish that factory? Well, currently we, we have the government have um, been kind to us and give us some buildings at Region Seven. You know Region Seven, right? Mm -hmm. There are some abandoned buildings at the back there. So that's in the Otsa area? That's not Otsa. That's by the Marigo area there. Oh, OK, OK. I know there. Yeah. there are yeah. some abandoned buildings there. Mm -hmm. They are doing some renovations in it. But with time, it will come along. OK. But you see the factory. Let's be real. We have a lot of wastage here. A lot, a lot, a lot. Mangoes, green apples, guavas, bananas. Name it. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of wastage here. Mm -hmm. We did, we had just in factory, we'll try and take some, we can't, we can't take all, mm -hmm. we'll try and take some, or cut, or cut, or cut off some of that um, wastage, mm -hmm. and make juice with it. And even though it's at a cheaper rate, mm -hmm. but at least something will be done with it. Okay. But how, how, how do you see, for example, the, the, um, the Foasso factory, you know, um, they are doing the same thing. Um, would it be more, um, easy for the farmers to actually sell to them as opposed to farming. I'm just playing devil's advocate there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? Uh, well, that, that could be an issue. Mm. But let's, let's be real, like I tell you, there are a lot of wastage here. That's right. So if a farmer sells 10 pounds to them, mm -hmm. and that's what they can take, mm -hmm. and we can take another 10 pounds, hey, why not sell it to us too? Mm. That's 20 pounds you're selling. Yeah, that's right. So why not sell it to us? Instead of, taking instead it, of throwing it. Instead of throwing it on, also instead of taking it all the way too far, so then we you write can, there. write on in yeah. the area. OK. But are you off? Are you, are you off? Um, that's an idea. That idea came up from you all as an executive, but is it uh, an idea that the farmers agree? As a group? Well, it's, uh, it's an executive um, idea. Mm -hmm. And like I tell you, on the 31st of May, we're going to have a meeting. We're going to bring, bring, bring it out to, them. to the uh, members of the. But those we have spoke to one on one, they are for it. Okay. They are for it. Okay. How many, um, t t describe the members of your executive, you know, the president and everybody? The president is Mr. Victor. Mm -hmm. The secretary, Mr. Sa Ms. Sasang. Mm -hmm. The treasurer, Ms. Sinclair. The trustee, Ms. Just, Ms. Ms. Jabatis. Okay. And, and myself, the PR. You're the PR. There are five of us. Okay. okay. It's a small board. That's it, yeah. <laughs> um, in addition to the assistance that you receive from the Department of Cooperatives, um, I'm sure you all get um, technical assistance from the staff of the Region 7 we Extension Division. Region 8, eight sorry, <laughs> Region Division. I don't know what I'm so <laughs> taken up with Region 7. I suppose that they're so close. And, and not only that, too, I, I worked in that area for years. I was a young boy like yourself when I, when, <laughs> when I was a, a, an officer in, in the Bexom Mark mm -hmm. area. So I'm very familiar with the area very well. So tell, tell so t um, are you getting assistance from, t from the, the, the officers? Well, we get a lot of assistance from them. Mm. Before, we had Mr. Herale. Mm, that's he right. was more fully helping us to push for the, to get farmers together so that we can form the co-op. Right now, he's, he's retired. on retirement. Mm -hmm. And we, right now, we, you know, we have Mr. Elvis that we replaced him. And he's doing a good job helping us, too. Mm -hmm. We have Ms. Yvonne, Francis, Ms. Ms. Natasha, that's right. and Ms. Kisha. They, they're helping us, and Mr. Joshua. Okay. So we're, we're getting some help from them. We're getting okay. well, not some, a lot of help from them. Okay. In While you're with the, mm, go ahead. In terms of like farmers attending the meeting, mm -hmm. whenever they go, they go out to the field, they're the ones um, basically inviting the farmers mm -hmm. or telling the farmers about the cooperative and encouraging them to join the cooperative. Okay. So we're getting a lot of help from them. Among the members of your cooperative, I mean, you are young. I mean, uh, how many young farmers like yourself? that are members of that cooperative? That are registered members? Registered members. Well, they are more young than all, I can tell you that. Oh, OK. <laughs> but why do you think so? Why, why, why they are so energized? Why? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a new ave uh, adventure. Mm -hmm. Because basically, it's, it's not a matter of just going to farming. Because if you want, you can, like, you can like farming, and then you don't have a market for farming, or you mm -hmm. don't have the marketing skills for farming. Mm -hmm. so you wouldn't, would you go into ma um, farming? That's right. You wouldn't go into farming. There must be an objective. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, if you hear that 
like for example, look, you have a cooperative, mm -hmm. and they're going to do the marketing for you mm -hmm. and take care of the take care of whatever um, copy produce, take care of it for you. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you go into it? Yes, exactly. Okay. So there's opportunity for, there for them to go into farming and not worry about the marketing aspect of farming, mm -hmm. which is already done by the co-op for them. Okay. Have you all taken a page from the other cooperatives? For example, Bellevue is a famous cooperative. Uh, have you all um, had any discourse with them so that they can probably give you all some ideas uh, as to going into well, a cooperative? Yes, we have, because when we were just thinking of forming the cooperative, the president and some other board members went down to Vieux Fort. Mm -hmm. Vieux Fort it is, right? No, no, it's, it's, um, it's, it's in Region 6, actually in Soufre. Soufre. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to meet so that they can see, like, what's the cooperative about? Like, see a, a real life and and functioning cooperative mm -hmm. and we took the we took some they gave us some of the bylaws and they, they told us about some of the rentals how it's, um, it's to run the cooperative mm -hmm. and yeah they've been helpful they've been helpful oh, okay. they're interacting with us and we're interacting with them the, the young persons that that are involved with agriculture in the cooperative what what sort of farming do they do what crops do crops they do more like potato spinach Let's use yes, yes, name it. Mm. And and you 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 believe that with going that's the best way to go. You believe that um, they have understood that the whole dynamics of, of farmer groups and and um, what it takes the the ideas that they have gotten from the department of cooperative. You think that that is has sunk in and they are going to be well on their way. Well, like I said, we're fresh here, so mm. in two time we'll know mm -hmm. <laughs> because we're a fresh um, group of people. Okay. So we cannot make that judgment based on where we are, where we are right now. Okay. In terms, in terms of um, getting your business proposals together, because, I mean, agriculture is a business, and I'm sure, um, Mrs. Uh, I've, I've spoken to you all about preparing, you know, proposals and business plans. Uh, have you all been in, involved in that? Well, actually, right now, the, the just the fact that a couple I spoke about, mm -hmm. well, right now, we are forming a business plan for both of those things. Okay. To get, we, have, we have to submit it to the Miss Jessica. Yes. For us to finish register the company. Okay. And we're trying to form it so that we can source some funds mm -hmm. so we can get something kick started. Okay. In terms of, as you mentioned, funding, um, there are organizations out there, and I'm sure she have told you the benefits of you know, coming together as a group. Because individually, organizations do not fund individual farmers. They will no, no. For, for, um, fund, you know, organizations like, you know, your, your, yourselves. Um, have you all um, gotten any or, or seen any organization that can come in and, you know, have you all targeted any organizations in that regard? Well, we, 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 we're starting to, I cannot say exactly Mm. What right now? Mm. Well, I shouldn't say exactly what right now. <laughs> <laughs> you hung out as a secret. <laughs> uh. But, but, but we're we doing some things behind the scenes. We're yeah, we, we at, we at it. We're at it. Because I can tell you that one of the organizations that I, I, I believe you also target is, is um, ICA. Okay. Because ICA, ICA has, you know, helping a lot. They've helped Slaffy. They've helped a lot of young, young groups, uh, other women's groups and stuff like that. So but since, since you say that, Last week we had a ball meeting mm -hmm. and we had a member from ICA at, at the ball meeting. meeting. Okay. So, so, so hold that thought. We can, <laughs> we're going for another break. We are uh, due for another break. Stay tuned. Back soon. Vessels should at all times proceed at a safe speed that the captain can take proper and effective action to avoid collision and be stopped within a distance appropriate to condition and circumstances. Even at slow speeds, your boat will create a wake. Look behind at your wake and be aware of the impact this can have on other boats, people in the water or the shore. Traveling at the speed shown on the speed restriction sign does not guarantee you are not creating excessive wash. When navigating near, in or through a mooring area, drive slowly and keep the wake to a minimum and keep a lookout for people in the water, small dinghies and trailing ropes. To determine a safe speed, take the following factors into account. Visibility. 
Traffic density, how easy or difficult it is to move the vessel, including stopping distance and turning ability, state of the wind, current, navigational hazards and draft. It is also important to always keep a lookout to monitor landmarks, navigational hazards and the captain's blind side. For more information on obtaining a license to fish, contact the Department of Fisheries at 468-4143. Welcome back to the program. Mr. Morris, I don't want to, um, to frighten you, uh, I, I, but we have to speak, you know, real. Um, agriculture is a business. Yes, and it is. And, and like <coughs> any other business, but there are challenges. In all okay. businesses. Um, <coughs> there are risks and uncertainties. That's when, when you're doing farm management, that's one of the things, the key um, terms, risk and uncertainties. You don't know, for example, we are dealing with climate change, which is something that we have no control over, but we have to mitigate against climate change to ensure that you know, we, we produce and make money. Okay? So that's one uh, hurdle that you, you have to cross. The other thing is, um, in terms of um, farm equipment, um, Region 7 is, is well, relatively flat in certain areas, and it can be mechanized. I'm sure where you're farming, you can mechanize. Um, is it, what, what are your challenges? Are you getting equipment to mechanize? Well, to be honest with you, no. When you contact for equipment from the government, it's like, it's like a problem as an individual farmer. Okay. But I think with the COP, that will be eradicated. How do you think so? Let's, let's be real. If a COP comes to the government and say, hey, can we get a, a tractor to plow, um, to plow that amount of land for, let's say, four or five farmers? Mm -hmm. Do you think that they will say no? Yeah, but the point <laughs> is, it, not necessarily, but he, they should not say no for, in, for one or two individuals. But that's the reality of it. Yeah. They do say no. They do say no. Well, they don't say no, but the actions say no. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but the thing, the thing is, you, you have to also understand that if, if, the, if um, uh, an equipment comes into the MAC area, for example, the, it should be done very efficiently eh? uh, in, in that it should not come to you alone. I mean, it should be done in such a way where you can come in there and spend about a week and, and, and plow for a number of farmers to, to make it more cost effective. How far is Region 7 from Region 8? Not that far, right? No, it's not that far at all. Okay, so if you're doing a work in Region 7, mm -hmm. you have the tractor available. Mm -hmm. Can you just cut across and just I assist agree. the farmer in Region 8? I, I, I agree. I agree. All right. I agree. So that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying all of this. I'm playing devil's advocate here because the point is I understand the point. So I'm just putting, I'm making it real, real because that we, we are in the real world. Yes, yes we are. Yes, yeah, we are. Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's a problem we've been facing. Yeah. As an individual farmer, that's mm -hmm. a problem I have been facing. Yes, yeah. In terms of help from the government with machinery. So how, are you saying no. you have never gotten assistance in terms of plowing and, and rotovating? Never. And how long have you been asking for that, for that, that assistance? <laughs> Let's not, I rather not see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, not so, see. So, so you understand the angle I'm going. I'm, yes, so I, I'm I saying understand. to you, agriculture is not an easy road. It's a, it's a business, but it's not an easy business. You know, so all of, these, of those challenges you have to face. Now, with that being said, mm -hmm. if, we, if you're in the COP, and the COP is functioning as you're supposed to, mm -hmm. if you're a farmer, you need some land plowed. Mm -hmm. The farmer should be supposed to be in a position that is saying, hey, that farmer, this farmer needs um, a plot plowed. Mm -hmm. Why don't we assist him, get it thought for him, and whatever crop that we sell, we sell for him, or he sell to us, whichever, that we take a little something from it, just, and just to Good. cushion the blow. Good idea. Fantastic idea. I think that's one of the, one of the things that you all it's need a to, benefit. to sit. Yes, yes. So coming together as a group, the, advan the, the, it is the, an the uh, advantages. But the other thing, too, you can also, as a group, um, get incentive from government so you to bring down your own bit of equipment. That we plan, we're, planning that? On, we're planning on all that. You see, so that's an area that you can, ex explore, can explore. Ir irrigation equipment, all of these things that, that there are house. incentives for this. You know? so we, we, um, we're planning all that. We're planning an FAR vehicle, though the, the, the minister is going to be re, 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 revamping right. it soon yeah. and to be revised because people are taking advantage of this. Another problem I know that you all will be faced with because people are being faced with it, Pridya Lassini. <laughs> Tell me about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need some um, police to sleep on our farms. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> oh, but you you probably have to do that. The, the truth, truth be told, when you call, you, so say, you, nev you never get no answer. So that's another problem. A, a big problem. You never get no answer. If you get an answer, they never show up. Oh. 
So what, what do you do? Um, and if you take it into your own hand to do something, you might be in jail. So what do you do? <laughs> so okay, as as a group, maybe when you when you all have that next meeting, uh, that's something that you all need to sit and discuss. Yeah? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But have you all had a meeting with, say, for example, the previous last in the unit? Um, maybe um, invite them to, to your, your. No, no, we, ha we have not. No, well, we have maybe not. that's should, something uh, yeah, that that's, you that's should, that's you I'll, should I'll consider. You know, have them to come to your meetings. And ex so they, they, they too, because they too are challenged there eh, in some respect, all right, in terms of transportation and the timeliness of, of you, they coming to, you know. So it's a question of sitting and discussing and see, you know, how best that you can work and collaborate your, your, your activities? I mean, farm is a big risk, you know. It is a big risk. It's a big, that's big, why, big that's risk. That's why I said earlier, it's risk and uncertainties. Uh, let's say you lose half of your crop already, mm -hmm. and you have half that's good. Mm -hmm. And somebody comes and take it. Relative nothing. Yes. So that's why they, they have to play the role. Yes. They have yeah. to. They need to start playing the role. Let's look at funding. That's another, which is another, uh, another bottleneck. <laughs> <laughs> As a youngster, a young farmer, um, is, uh, how, do you, how do you seek funding for your activity? For well, my activity? Yeah. And, uh, as a personal level? Personally and as a group of cost, upcoming group. Well, like I said, there are five of us in my personal group mm -hmm. that's farming. Okay. So we cushion a blow each on each other. Mm. So let's say, like, in terms of if you have to plant a new, a new set of peppers. Mm -hmm. If I buy the, the um, pit moss, somebody else buy the seed, somebody else pay for the, the labor. So it's, we, sp we spread it around. Oh, that's we spread it around. Okay, so it's okay. a little it's easier. easier on us. Ah. But for somebody that's on their own now, yeah. I guess it will be more difficult because okay. everything will be coming from their pockets. All right, right, so right. Who can so, so that's a little subgroup within <laughs> the cooperative. <laughs> no, that's a fantastic <laughs> idea. So, that's, so you, you, you have not faced an institution like SLDB for any loan? We, we, we took a loan as SLDB two years ago. Mm -hmm. We were under a year program, like I said. We took a loan because we were supposed to get some stuff. Yes, right. Yes, yes. And yes. up to like two days. Yeah, I know. Well, three years, in fact, up to yeah, like two yes, days. Yes, we yes. haven't gotten anything. Yeah. So, so you've so got, you're, 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 you're got a loan? We got, we got the loan. And what, what, we're what, paying the loan. And you're paying the loan yeah. up to now. Okay. Well, I uh, guess you have to move on. Yeah, you have to move <laughs> on. So the three of you all, you all won the year program or just a f one? How many uh, my, my brother was on, on the year, year program. My brother and a cousin was on the year program. Yeah. The year program, that's one of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. All right. Any final words from you, sir, um, in terms of as we're winding down and what, where do you want to see the cooperative go? Well, the, with the cooperative, I want to see it to become something very big. Mm -hmm. That's when the farmer can say, yes, the cooperative have my back. Mm -hmm. I can depend on the cooperative. So I don't think years like some years start and we just forget about it. And with the cooperative, it's not just about the board members. We the farmers have to play our role so that it can be a success. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Mm -hmm. If you just laid back and I'm doing all the work for you, wouldn't I get tired? Yes. Wouldn't right. I, I break at a point in time? Definitely. Now, if you share it with me, mm -hmm. I mean, I get strength you to go on and go on. You'll share the pain. We share the pain. And, 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 and we and share, and share and again, and too. And again too. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Mr. <laughs> Morris. Delvin, thank you for being on the show. Yes. I wish you all success. Thanks. I think that's, that's the way to go. And more so that you're young. And then I'm sure if other young persons in the cooperative, I know you all will succeed with all the assistance from Ms. Caesar, from the Department of Cooperatives, and also from the staff of uh, Region 7. Region and and from region eight, <laughs> <laughs> and of course you said region I seven too. Right? You love region yeah, seven. You have me. But you, but you said you, you said you were region eight too, region seven too. Yes, I wish you success, sir. All right. All right. You've been watching Agriculture the Move. Uh, like I said, you uh, with me was Mr. Delvin Morris, who is the PRO for Region Eight uh, Farmer Cooperative. Thanks for viewing. Keep on watching again. Thank you, um, Savo Ventien, for recording the program. See you again. I'm Philip Sidney saying goodbye and see you again. Bye. Thank you, sir. Agriculture on the move. 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 Agriculture on the move.